Hi, welcome to Cool Crafts. Today we are going to learn how to do patchwork in a sari. I have chosen a cotton sari and even the patchwork I have done is also done in a cotton cloth. You can choose any type of material, you can choose even synthetic. Nowadays in the market, ready madely there are lots of uh, attractive borders are available. They buy those, those borders and they attach in a synthetic sari. Here uh, to make a difference, we have chosen a cotton sari and I have taken a kalamkari material and I have attached it on both the sides on the top and the bottom and I have made a um, diamond shape and I have attached it throughout the sari. You can choose any shape. You, uh, you can also make a mango shape like this and you can attach it on the sari. First when you start doing a patchwork in a sari, always choose an easy design to make a patchwork because we have to make lots of designs like this and we have to attach it evenly throughout the sari. Let's see the things which are needed to make the patchwork for a sari. First of all we need a good quality cotton sari and we also need a cloth to make the patchwork. I have taken almost two and a half meters of a cloth. I will be making the blouse also in this cloth only then, it will be, it will be, then only it will look like a ready made. We need almost one meter to make a blouse and one and a half meter to make a patchwork for this sari. We need a mapping chalk, a crafty glue, an inch tape and a scissors. Here you can see lot of colors the bottom of the sari. I will be closing half of this border with the help of this cloth and I will be also keeping a thin strip with this cloth at the top. Then we will be making lots of strips in between the sari and we will also be making small patchworks in between the sari. The entire look of the sari will, will become different. Let's see how to make this. Now I have folded the cloth 3 to 4 times and I have made a triangle shape here each of 4 inches in length. So the triangle piece is ready here. Then we should cut it. I have already cut a one piece and I have kept it here. Once when we cut, we will be getting 6 to 7 pieces of triangle here. After that, we have to make such long strips. For making such long strips, we have to draw a line, line like this. If you want a thinner one, we have to draw like this. And if you want a thicker one, we have to measure and we have to draw like this. After cutting these pieces, we have to seal both the corners and then we have to make them ready like this. Now I have finished cutting all the pieces here. This is a bigger piece, it is almost 5.5 meters in length. This piece I will be placing in the bottom of the sari. This is a smaller piece, it is 2.5 meters in length. I will be placing this at the top of the sari. I have cut few triangular pieces here. This I will be keeping all over the sari. Some bigger triangular pieces and some smaller triangular pieces. These are some of the strips which I will be placing in between the saris such that it comes in the pleat. I have placed the bigger strip here at the bottom of the saris and I have placed the bigger triangle here. Now I am going to stick this with the help of the fevi glue. It will be easy for me while stitching. If you are very much experienced in stitching, it is not necessary to stick this. But I am going to stick the full pattern with the help of the fevi glue in the sari. Then I will start stitching this. I have finished uh, stitching the sari fully. I have given normal stitches in the border and for every patch I have given a zigzag stitch. After completing a sari, the sari will look like this. Uh, with the help of the patchwork cloth, you can make your blouse. Let me give you a closer look of how the sari looks. So in each patchwork, you can see a small zigzag work here. And in the border, we have done only normal stitches. I have given the border both at the bottom. At the bottom, I have given a bigger cloth. And at the top I have given a smaller cloth. Those stitches are just uh, normal stitches. You can do it with the help of your machine. And the, even in this patches you can make zigzag. Otherwise you can also give a normal stitch on this. So the full sari now looks like this. And you can make the blouse with the help of this patchwork cloth. So the sari will be like this after doing the patchwork fully. Thank you.